Hello everybody, in this video we will be extending upon our series on service science technician shifts. Um, and so basically, as we went over in the last video, technician shifts are a really good way of communicating to your um, dispatchers as an admin what your technician's working schedules are. You can tell them when they're off, when they're, when they're on the clock, when they're supposed to be on call. Um, and basically, all, this, all, the, all, the pro, all it really does is communicate via colors on the dispatch board what your technician is supposed to be working. And so today we're going to go over each of those different types of shifts and I'm going to show you how to add those. And so as you can see right here, this is what the dispatch board looks like if there are no shifts for any of your technicians. It's this kind of light gray color all over the board. And so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to add a standard shift to Bob and show you what that will look like. So how you go to technician shifts is you go to schedule up here and you go to technician shift. And then you go over to create shift. And as you can see, there are no shifts over here for Tuesday. Um, and Monday, there were a bunch of shifts. And so there's nothing for Tuesday. So we're going to go ahead and add a shift for today for Bob. Um, up here, just some things to note is there are two options up top, shift and time off. We'll talk about time off in a second. But shift is basically your standard on-call and regular schedule uh, shifts. And so this is basically to signal to your dispatchers that your technician is available to work during this time bar. Um, since this is a standard shift, we don't care about on-call or overnight. I'm just going to call this default shift because I like uh, to just name it default. That way, um, if anything is tweaked, I can kind of change, I can signal that right here. Um, I want today's date. Um, my technicians work from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. There's no repeat. Um, I can filter this by technician's business unit, um, but what I really want to do is just go ahead and add, um, I can filter th these options by technician uh, business unit, but really what I want to do is just, I want to go ahead and select a technician. So I said I was going to do Bob, so I'm going to select Bob, um, and then I can add a little note if I want to. But since this is standard, I, I'm not going to add anything special. So I'm going to go ahead and add this to the schedule. And what it's going to do is populate this little shift with a green line. And so how that will appear on the dispatch board, if I come over here and refresh, is it will actually change Bob's shift to white, where he is actually working, between 8 and 4. And so now the dispatcher knows, hey, this is when Bob is supposed to be working. Um, and so let's say Bob works... Um, is going to be available for on-call between 4 and 7 p.m. tonight. So let's go ahead and add an, an on-call shift for Bob. And so we're going to come in here and create a shift. And since this is on-call, what we're going to do is select on-call. And then what we're going to do is just, I'm just going to call it on-call. It's going to be from today, from 4 p.m. So we're going to go ahead and select 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. So we're going to make this 7 um, this does not repeat. This is a one-off event, and we're going to go ahead and select Bob. Um, I'm going to, if I wanted to add a note, I could, and then I'm just going to go ahead and add it to the schedule. And what this does is it adds an orange call um, on to Bob. And so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go over to the dispatch board, refresh again, and show you what that looks like. And so as you can see, there is now an orange line between four and seven, indicating to your dispatchers that Bob is available for on-call calls between four and 7 p.m. Now let's say, um, now that Bob's kind of working, let's say Charlotte calls in sick today. And we wanna go ahead and signal to our dispatchers that she cannot have any calls assigned to her. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is click Create Shift. We're gonna go off, because basically your dispatchers are able to see what is in the title screen, but they're not, as long as they don't have the permissions, able to see what is a, a note. And so what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna click time off because this is a time off event. We're gonna put in the title of off and we're gonna select the date, which is today because she called in today and she's not gonna be available. Her standard shift time is 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, and since I'm actually doing the payroll stuff, um, you don't actually have to select the timesheet code here, but let's say I wanna signal to um, my payroll department that sh this is PTO time. So I'm going to go ahead and select PTO. And this will actually create a not, it'll, it'll basically signal to the um, payroll system that this is like a non-job event. This is a PTO time. Um, you can select no timesheet code or you can select one. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and add Charlotte because she's the one that reported it. And I'm going to add a note here for the other administrators that have these permissions to know why she's off. So she is off sick. 
I'm going to go ahead and add that to the schedule. And it adds this dark gray line to Charlotte's schedule. And so what we can go ahead and do is go to the dispatch board, refresh, and we'll see that Charlotte has this off on her. And what this allows us to do is signal to the dispatchers that she is off today without cluttering up the board with non-job timesheet events that people can easily change because you can't alter these from the dispatch board. And so this is one really good way of being able to just like mark her off without actually having to worry about dispatchers changing things or or anything like that. It's just a simple way as an admin to go in there and do that. And so what if we want to go ahead and add a bunch of shifts? So one way that we can do that is we can, let's say we want, let's say Bob is going to take on call for tomorrow as well between four and seven. Um, what I, we can go ahead and do is over top of this um, event that I want to copy, let's say I just want to copy it over to today. There's this, there are three options. So you can either view it, you can uh, copy it or you can delete it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna click this copy button and it copies all of the information into a new shift that we can easily add in. And so let's say this is for tomorrow. So we'll just go ahead and change the date, but it's actually from tomorrow all the way into um, the following day. Let's say he's gonna work until 8 a.m. the next day. And so since I can't select that on typical on call, I can't select an end date, I'm gonna go ahead and select overnight shift to signal that this is going to start to on the start date and end on the end date. And so the start date, we're gonna go ahead and select 4 p.m. because that is when shift typically starts. Um, ends and we're going to go over to 8 a.m. because that's when the shifts start for the day and he's going to be working that whole time. This is not going to repeat and this is for just Bob. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to the schedule. And what I did was able to just copy that over and change some details. So I was able to quickly, without filling out all of the information, I was able to quickly duplicate that job over. Um, the same is true if I wanted to duplicate this for Charlotte. Let's say she called out sick tomorrow as well. I can just go ahead and duplicate it, change the date, add to the schedule, and it will quickly populate that. Now, let's say I want to mass schedule the standard default shift for all of my technicians. So what I can actually do is instead, I'm going to go ahead and remove these. So what I can actually do is bulk schedule jobs. And so the way that I can do that is let's say I want all of my technicians to work um, just have their default shifts every single day, Monday through Friday, um, between eight and four. So what I can do is come over here to create shift and I'll make this the default shift again. Um, and I'm going to put the start date to today, the start time. Again, my technicians start at eight and end at four. This repeats never. I'm right now it's set to never, but what I'm going to do is actually change that to weekly. And so now that it's weekly, I can actually select an end date to when those repeats stop. Service Titan recommends that you don't schedule these too far in advance. So typically people do like one once a month. Um, that way they can easily review everything and make sure that it's still up to date and working properly. What I'm going to do is select um, this Friday the 1st of April. Um, and so that basically these repeats will end on that Friday the 1st. I want this to repeat every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Um, and I want to just do all of my technicians. So I'm just going to go ahead and select all technicians. Um, I can add a note if I want to, and then go ahead and add to schedule. And what that's going to do is just populate my dispatch board completely with all of these different things all the way until April 1st. So as we go out into time, we can see these populated out. Perfect. So now that those are scheduled, you can actually see on the dispatch board, if we go back and refresh, you can see those populated all the way out as such. Um, and so that is basically how you add shifts to the dispatch board. Um, technician shifts can feed into a lot of different features of Service Titan, like adjustable capacity. And so it's just really important to know how to add those shifts and what the different types of shifts mean.